Welcome to Cosmo Health Anonymous. I am your favorite new mama bougie vintage and today's video is something that you guys have been requesting for a very long time but I've just not done it because I literally do nothing to my hair. <laughs> so this is my hair care routine. This is what I do to my hair. I don't do a lot to my hair. I literally just wash it and go. <laughs> wash it and style it. Today I'm going to be washing it, blow drying it, and straightening it. Salem's asleep right there so like you know I'm not trying to wake the sister up but my hair is actually currently straightened but it's really dirty I must admit I have a, an extremely dry scalp I don't have dandruff but my scalp definitely is super dry it's hereditary my father also has a very dry scalp and you can't have a doll okay so I actually do have to wash my hair quite frequently my head does get really itchy I like feather pillows but I'm allergic to feather pillows down feel pillows so that causes my head to itch a lot too that's really it I don't know what hair texture I am the other day I was on Instagram live and people were telling me what hair texture I was but I don't really know my hair looks like dreads right now like <laughs> it looks crazy and the last thing I need to touch on is I always get asked if my hair is relaxed permed texturized no 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 there's no chemicals in my hair not even black hair dye like usually I do dye my hair jet black but I haven't dyed it in probably two years I haven't dyed my hair in a very long time so there's no chemicals in my hair you guys are gonna see everything that I use right now the first step that I do is rake my scalp because usually the dead skin is just stuck to the damn scalp but my hair is really flaky like it's gonna get dirty in here okay another question I get asked a lot is like how did I get my hair so long my hair's always been long except for when I cut it off obviously during my pregnancy I did cut it and it grew right the fuck back so I guess we can say my pregnancy helped my hair because usually if I cut my hair it takes a lot longer than it did to grow back than while I was pregnant and I cut it down like I tried to cut my hair down to like 12 inches when I was pregnant and I wanted to cut off more but my mom wouldn't let me. She thinks she's in control still so yeah. Anyway, the first step I do is rake my scalp. I'm probably not going to leave a whole bunch of the scalp raking business in the video because quite frankly it's embarrassing. Like honestly having a dry scalp is super embarrassing because it gets to the point where my hair is super like like my hair it just there's just flakes like <laughs> I guess it's a form of dandruff but I'm just living in denial um today it's not so bad I'm sorry that I keep turning over here because this is where the mirror is I can't do it in the viewfinder it's just not a thing I don't even want to zoom on this but I'm going to so right here as you can see I'm raking it and there are flakes my head is flaky I usually actually make my mom do this she's on her way to my house right now but I don't have time to wait for her today so I'm just gonna rake up the scalp and loosen all the dead skin because if I don't do that there's no point in washing my hair it's just gonna be like dirty tomorrow so that's the process I literally go through the entire head raking up the whole entire scalp getting all that dry shit out but some areas of my head are more dry than others like this side of my head is drier than this side and then like here is drier than back here like back here I never really have any flakes it's usually the top more flaky than the other side sometimes I don't have flakes on the other side at all oh look we just come up on a dry patch right here is super dry And sometimes I get some colossal ass flakes, like they're so big. And so I do actually treat my dry scalp with Dettol and water. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> I literally have to spray my scalp down with Dettol mixed with water and that helps a lot. Honestly, my scalp is not even anywhere near as dry as it usually is. Like, usually it's like coming out like fucking snowfall. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm actually surprised. I guess because I washed it recently, I will literally be here for like an hour, two hours raking the scalp. 
if it was supremely dry. I'm so hot. And my arms are tired already. My back hurts. So I'm just going to finish raking the back of my head. <laughs> and then I'm going to hop in the shower and get to washing. I'm so dumb. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> okay, so now I'm in the shower. And it's super fucking weird to be recording while you're taking a fucking bath or showering. But I have my water going. And I'm going to try not to get my titties on camera. But I've wet my hair. Or I've started to wet it. And I know they say you're supposed to wash your hair with like cool water. But when you have a fucking dandruff. <laughs> Ain't no cool water, bitch. They say a lot of things. It's not like scolding hot. And I'm not rinsing it either, so, you know. And just so you guys can see where the length is at when it curls up, because it's shrinking a little bit. Because I have a dry scalp, I go in with my head and shoulders. This is the almond one. I always buy different scents than labels or whatever. And I shampoo three times. Sometimes I use salt and blue. So I make sure I coat all my hair. And then I get to scratchity scratching, all right? Oh my god, I wish somebody else was doing my hair for me. But my mom refuses to wash my hair. My mom wanted sons and she didn't get any because she didn't want to do hair. And she got five daughters and she had to do hair. Pressure on these VVS's, diamonds on me froze. All my niggas TTG and yeah, they trying to go. Came up from the bottom, niggas had me in the cold. All my niggas TTG and yeah, they let it go. That's wash one. We're going for a second shampoo now. Sometimes I'll only do two if my hair wasn't too dirty. But this time... Oh, I hear Salem. My hair is a... Uh really dry at the front so that's where I want to focus my shampoo just because it is like a medicated shampoo with head and shoulders it's supposed to treat my dandruff so I have to focus it up here and work it through the rest of the hair And so now we're on our third shampoo. And every time I shampoo, I use less and less. So the first shampoo, I use a lot of shampoo. The second shampoo, a moderate amount. And then the last time I shampoo, I use the least amount. I 
after that rinse, I actually comb out my hair before I condition it. Because it's manageable at this stage. She sent a text and I gave it a dick. Always do things that I seem to regret. He got a gun, but he's still not a threat. For the little bitch and I'm busting a sweat. I've been out to get money on the road. All my shooters on. For conditioner, I use my head and shoulders conditioner. All my niggas TTG and yeah, they train to go. Came up from the bottom, niggas had me in the car. All my niggas TTG and yeah, they let it go. Once I put the conditioner in the hair, I actually, that's when I decide to take my bath or my shower and I just let it condition while I'm taking a shower. So I'm going to take a shower now and then I'm going to rinse out the conditioner for my hair again and get the hell up out of here. Okay, we're almost done, thank God, because my mom has not arrived yet and Salem is ready to eat, I guess, <laughs> or she doesn't want to be laying down anymore. I do put the water on to a cooler temperature, start to rinse. And once I get a little bit of water in there with the conditioner, that's when I comb it out. I don't comb it out strictly with just conditioner in there because it is hard to do. Okay, so the final step before I get out of the shower is simply to part the hair down the center. Okay, so this next part is obviously the blow drying aspect. Good God. <laughs> I do one side at a time. I actually towel dry first just to get out excess water. I'm actually just going to put some coconut oil into my part here. And not a lot because I don't like when my hair is oily when I straighten it. So I just put some oil into the part. Because Lord knows I have the world's driest scalp. Oh, this is by the brand Jahitian. Jamaican Haitian. And I put the, the castor oil all through the hair. And my hair is nappier as it gets to the back. Obviously, I think most people's hair might be like that. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes I part it into four just to make it easier to blow dry. She sent a text and I gave it a dick. Always do things that I seem to regret. He got a gun, but he's still not a threat. For the little bitch and I bust in a sweat. I've been out to get money on the road. All my shooters on, but they're trying to go. Pressure on these VVS's, diamonds on me froze. All my niggas, TTG, and yeah, they're trying to go. Came up from the bottom, niggas had me in the cold. All my niggas, TTG, and yeah, they let it go. Let it go, that's automatic. And she fucked me from 
my status. We ain't hearing all the static. Came through and got the job done. Count it hundreds like it's all ones. Pressure on these VVS's, diamonds on me froze. All my niggas TTG, and yeah, they train to go. Came up from the bottom, niggas had me in the cold. All my niggas TTG, and yeah, they let it go. Okay, we're back to straighten now. It's been a couple hours. Had to go be a mom. <laughs> okay, so my hair straightener is quite old. One of my first videos on YouTube was about this straightener because it's actually really good. And I've had it since then. It is the Nano Silver Ceramic Straightener by Gilbert de Paris. I have it on the highest setting. And I've parted, or I've sectioned off my hair, and we're going to need a brush as well. I've been looking for someone who understands. Been looking for someone to be. Should have been patient with me. Should have been patient with me. Should have been patient. Riding through the city, running through the dust, playing on your cars, all the downtown. Pick up where you left, hunted on the best. Wonder if you left. Uh, battle with my next 